please rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So cool. Hello and welcome. Anyone fight their terrible sleep schedule? I know I did. Here with me is my monotone co-host. I think that's me, but I don't know what he means. Uh, I guess stay tuned for your daily news, weather, and sports, but first with Nick. To Nick with, of course, the obvious weather report. Thanks, Chris. When you came in this morning, it was 47 degrees. Throughout the early part of the day, the temperatures were expected to stay the same, with winds picking up from 10 to 20 miles per hour. From then on, it is only going to get colder. Once we get out of school at 245, the temperature will have dropped to the low 40s, with the wind picking up to the mid-20s. On the flip side, there is only a 5% chance of rain throughout the rest of the day. Tomorrow morning, make sure to dress warm as the temperature is expected to drop to around 22 degrees when you come to school, with a feeling of 8 degrees due to the high winds. That's it for weather. Now we're to Richard and Chris with lunch and birthdays for the day. Thanks, Nick, with that professional weather report. But on lines 1 and 2, we'll have orange chicken. Line 3, we'll have soup and salad bar featuring chili soup. Uh, line 4, we'll have biscuits and gravy with personal pan pizza. And of course, line 5 is closed. There's only one birthday today, and it goes out to Sonia Ray. Sending now to sports with Izzy. Thanks, Richard. And varsity sports action last week that I completely forgot about. In wrestling news, Christian Matias and Jose Bautista led the Hot Dog Saturday going 4-0 on the day as a team. They beat Rushville and Zionsville. Also, Skylar Seward and Alicia Ramey wrestled in the Girls South Regional Friday night at 126 pounds. Skylar defeated Alicia, placing sixth after a very close match. Also, last week the boys fell to Makanaqua, 48-36. The team struggled in the first quarter and came back in the second. During the stretch, the boys rebounded defensively and played together. Kane Stein sparked the run with six straight points. The team struggled on both ends in the third quarter and couldn't come back from behind in the fourth. The JV team fell to the Braves as well. In more recent news, tonight, both girls varsity and JV basketball will face county foe Rossville. JV begins at 6 at Case, and varsity will follow up. Also, the wrestling team will be traveling to the team state champions, Western Panthers. The meet starts at 6, and they will compete in the conference at this Saturday. And good luck to all my sports peeps playing tonight. That's all for sports. Now back to the studio. Seniors, if you have not ordered your cap and gown, it is now time. The deadline is March 1st, and the cost is now 52.43. Please stop by the main office and talk with Miss Frannick. She will need your height, weight, and along with a deposit to place your orders. The deposit will be $10. Books and Bagels will meet this Friday at 7.30 in the library to discuss looking for Alaska, and obviously, bring your books. Got any talent? Want to show off your SoundCloud skills? Big broadcast editions are this Thursday, one day only, right after school. The addition, audition must be performance ready in a max of three minutes. Mr. Taylor is looking for people interested work in working crew for the remaining performances this year. There are openings in all positions. There will be a call-out meeting this Wednesday during community with an after-school call-out uh, for walk-ons right after school in the theater. If you have any questions, please see Mr. Taylor. Thank you all for, or thank you all the few that view. Make sure to like and subscribe to get more news from Frankfurt and your local community. Catch all y'alls later.